Okay, so in this video, as you can already tell from the thumbnail, uh, probably from the title, I'm going to be making a mitered box with dividers inside, and in this case it's going to be for um, cufflinks. However, if you decide to make one yourself, you can adapt this um, to whatever you want, basically. You could have uh, jewellery in there, watches, you could do it for maybe some foods like spices, you could literally do whatever you want. So yeah, I'm just going to show you how I make my mitered boxes and methods I use. Um, and then if you fancy making it yourself, you can take it away and apply it to um, whatever functions you want. drawings and sketches laid out on the bench. Um, I've worked out how much material I need. I've got around two meters, I believe. Yeah. I'm gonna be using oak for this project. This has already been planed down from a previous, um, it's an off cut from a previous build that I had. Um, so there's no need for me to take it to the thickness to adjust the measurements because it's going to work out okay yeah so i won't show that process but i mean it's boring anyway right when you kind of get all the stock ready so we'll jump in to bring in the side panels so if i just show you that's the construction of the box these are all going to be mitres with splines um i'm going to make the box as one unit and then cut it down the middle after we've glued it. So we're going to cut these sections off now um, so we can start gluing the box up and putting the splines in. one for the bottom <laughs> um, it's easier if you do this before I probably should have um, before cutting the mitres just did the dado all in one but it is what it is it doesn't make a difference I can still do it now but if um, I was gonna do them in batches I would do them before because it's easier and um, you then don't put any indents on your mitres uh, as long as I do it Carefully, we should be good.
good morning it's a new day um yesterday my memory card um was full and somehow i forgot to put my spare ones in my backpack so i couldn't do any more filming we left off on the sanding um stage so what i'm doing is sanding the internal faces because obviously it's going to be harder to do that once this is all glued up so we've just run through these now and taken it up to the final grit um, which I think I've done it up to 320 um, yeah so now we've got all the pieces we can glue this box up and we'll leave it set overnight and then come back again tomorrow <laughs> that's even better because you could just speed them through and get it dialed in really really nice however I don't so I'm just going to run it over with my normal handheld sander just to get the saw marks off if you can see it's not really bad the cut on it's pretty good but it's still a little bit rough so we'll get those saw marks off um, and glue them in little while since um, picking up from this project because one has been drying and then I've done a few things in between so I'm not sure where I've left off I'll work it out when I'm editing um, the box is drying there um, well it's not drying it's dry now I'm gonna take that to the bandsaw cut off the uh, uh, spines I cannot speak today. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna cut off the splines and then we can slice the box in half um, for the lid, which I might do on the band saw because I've never done that yet. Um, I've only ever done it on the table saw. So now that I've got the band saw, I might give that a go. Um, and then see how we get on. apart from its final grit which I will do just before we um, put finish on it I'm going to take it to the bandsaw um, cut the lid off fit the hinges and um, hopefully then we'll move on to the dividers but we'll put the finish on while we so that gives it time to dry while we do the dividers and we're going to go inside <coughs> excuse me my voice is completely gone um, yeah so I've never cut one on the bandsaw before so I'm not sure how this is going to go I'm hoping that it's not going to ruin it um, I can't imagine it will but I'm not sure whether I want to just do it on the table saw to be safe and then maybe do a trial run on the bandsaw because I don't know 
It's just scary me cutting into a box. <laughs> So what I'm going to do now is cut halfway up through all of these to make notches and then the cross pieces will slot on. Once over with his final sanding, um, I put the dividers in, everything fits nice so I'm going to take it home, put the finish on at home because it's really cold in the workshop and um, it's just better for the finish to dry when it's warm or warmer. <laughs> um, I'll show you some snapshots, um, what I can get but for now thank you very much for watching, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel to see more videos and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!